Good morning, good morning. <laughs> How did you sleep last night? I hope you got a lot of rest because you're definitely gonna need it today. Did you know that not only do we need eight hours sleep or whatever amount of sleep you believe you need to feel fully rested, how you sleep, the position in how you sleep determines how your face ages. For example, I used to sleep all over the place, on my back, <laughs> to the left, <laughs> to the right. But one day I woke up and I just had this pain in my neck, like this crook in my neck, you know? And I knew it was because of the way I was sleeping. So that just cured me. I just immediately start sleeping on my back. And to help keep me on my back, I also sleep with my legs elevated too, just a little bit. I just put a pillow underneath my legs. I have varicose veins, so that also helps relieve um, a little bit of pressure that I feel in my legs if I have a pillow underneath my legs. So I sleep that way. But getting back to <laughs> how sleep, the position of your sleep determines how you're gonna age, your face ages. If you're constantly sleeping on your left side, you're pushing your face, you're creating these wrinkles, and you'll see you're creating these wrinkles here, a line here, 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 everywhere. Whichever face side you sleep on, that is gonna age faster because you're creating these lines, you're pushing your face in a position that it should not be in for eight hours. Think of it, for eight hours, you are squishing your face into an unnatural position on your pillow. And then one day you wake up and you wonder like, oh, where did that line come from? I didn't see that before, but that is the reason why. And when people come to me to get their lashes done, I can tell what position they're laying in because their lashes are bent in like this, this way. And I'm always spot on correct. When I look at them, I'm like, oh, you sleep on your right side or you sleep on your left side. How do you know? you know, because I can tell because your lashes are bent. So um, just something to think about this morning. If you're really concerned about how you're aging, you want to slow down the aging process, you want to prevent some of the aging process, um, I would highly recommend that you do not sleep on your side. And if you just cannot help yourself, then what I tell clients is just don't let the pillow hit your face. Like you can have it like on your head, you know, like where your ear is, right? Just sleep like that. And again, when you do sleep like that, <laughs> that side of your head will be a little thinner than the side that you don't sleep on. So there are just, there's nothing good about sleeping on your side. So just something to think about. Anyway, I have clients, obviously I'm going to see today. It's pretty early because I had a bunch of errands to run. I needed to put water in the van and I had to pick up um, some disposables. So of course I went to the Dollar Tree because if I'm going to throw my money away, it has to be one dollar at a time. So I did that and now I'm going to do donate some clothes. So I'm sitting right out front here talking to you guys and I'm going to donate the clothes and then I'm going to be on my way to my first client. Okay, so Let's, let's donate these clothes. Hi, I have some clothes I want to drop off. Some clothes and um, accessories. Do you guys sell them or do you give them away? Um, we, uh, no, we give them away to the homeless. Good, thank you so much. Okay. Right here, right here? Okay, okay, they're right here. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm back, I'm back. 
let's get this day started. Lots of cloud cover, but it looks like it might burn off, which would be great. All right, my car is beeping. I'm not hitting anything, it's just a little sensitive. Um, yeah, I do hope that it burns off because I get to end my day in Malibu and I love driving out to Malibu to see this client. Um, I do love the client, but I do love the drive too because it's so pretty and I like driving up the coast. So anyway, let's get this day started. Hey guys change of plans I just got gas at my regular spot and I pulled out and the water tank fell I was dragging it not that far um, just long enough to be able to pull over safely and um, put my hazard lights on so I just called AAA and who knows how long it'll take them to get here um, but let me show you what's going on okay I'm gonna get out and show you Okay, so you guys got to see what I am looking at. <laughs> My tank on the ground. Um, I just got, I just put water in it today. I just got gas today. So anyway, I did call AAA. They are gonna be here. And um, I'm just grateful that I'm in a, in a spot where I'm not endangering myself or anybody else. I am on the side of the road and I can wait here safely for AAA to come tow me. <laughs> um, you guys, I want you to live vicariously through me until you get your own um, van conversion, okay? So whoever does your van conversion, you make sure that they are available for you for you know times like this when they need to you know fix something or maybe you want you want to have an upgrade on your vehicle just take it back to this if you like them take it back to the same people that did your conversion because i absolutely love the, the guys that did my conversion they've just been so helpful whenever i've needed an upgrade whenever i've needed you know something you know fixed on it they have never given me any issues no problems they've always been very pleasant and kind i honestly feel like they're like family honestly like family to me so when the tow truck gets here that's where they're going to be towing me all the way across on the other side of town they're going to take my van there so i'm hoping i'll be able to get it fixed today because i've had to call my clients text them let them know that i'm i'm gonna have to either reschedule their appointments or maybe i can see them later on today hopefully it's just a quick fix i think there's a bracket is broken that's why it's on the ground right now so um we'll sit here and wait um another thing i want to tell you guys is if you have towing service just for your regular vehicle and you decide to get a van conversion especially if it's with AAA I can only speak about AAA because I had to be towed um, another time and she just said no we can't we, we can't we don't tow RVs which I didn't know that when I got their premier um, RV I mean uh, AAA card so I just had to pay out of pocket and you know, have and you know another company come and tow me that can tow a van, and I was really upset. <laughs> I'm thinking I spent all this money, all this time. I hardly ever use my AAA card, and now they can't help me. <laughs> so I was on the verge of canceling, but then I spoke to a client and told her the situation, and she says that she has a RV Premier AAA card, and that that they can't tow me. 
why the person on the phone didn't tell me this. I mean, she's supposed to be customer service and she was of no service to me at the time when I really, really needed her and I was about to cancel them. So anyway, I got on the phone with, with AAA and I upgraded my um, AAA card. So now they are able to come um, to my vehicle. So when they call them, when I call them, they know I am in a van and they need to send the proper tow vehicle to tow a van. So lesson learned, lesson learned. Again, you guys just live vicariously through me. <laughs> What happened to Monique? Okay, I'm not gonna let that happen to me. Okay, so anyway, make sure you find a company that does your van conversion that is reliable, they're available, and um, they're not gonna give you any grief <laughs> when you're grieving already, <laughs> stressing. But I'm not stressed, I'm just saying. I'm speaking in general terms. So make sure you find a company that you like and that is available. And also don't forget about your, um, um, whether you have AAA or some other type of service, make sure that they can tow your van conversion. All right? So I am just gonna sit here and wait. I'll hop back on here if I can once the AAA guy gets here and uh, we'll go from there. All right? All right. <laughs> I'm about to be towed. I'm up on the truck. Make sure everything is all secure in the back. And don't get hurt again. Okay. You need okay. to sit there because okay. you're, you're getting me nervous. Okay. Just keep your foot by the brake for safety in case the car rolls down. You can still... Okay. Is it, neutral now? Is it, it, it is a neutral. Okay. So just stay in front. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm on an amusement ride. I'm so scared. <laughs> All right. He's pulling the van up onto the tow truck. What? What? Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Like, like that? Oh my goodness. Should I take my foot off the brake now? No, don't it. Just, just leave it in neutral. It's in neutral. My foot is on the brake right now. Should well, I check it up? Okay. You have the brakes. Okay. 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 Amazing, amazing. What? Like that? Here you guys, I'm high up on the truck and I don't like it. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know how you're on an amusement ride and you're at the top and they're gonna drop you? This is the position I'm in right now. <laughs> That's what it feels like to me. Okay, put it in park. Put it in park, turn it off, and put the e-brakes on. Put it in park, turn it off, and, and, and put this brake on. Yeah, turn off the engine, roll up your window. Okay. All right, I gotta go, you guys, okay? Take care of my azalea. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. How are you doing? Wow, yesterday was so exhausting. <laughs> I got home around five 
and just went straight to sleep. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't work. I just dealt with the van, but I think it just emotionally it was probably taxing without me even really realizing it. I'm in the car right now, as you can tell, I'm on my way to the van. But uh, before I talk about that, that tow truck driver was a saint. <laughs> That guy was an angel. He went above and beyond what he was hired to do. Because, first of all, I and mean, he told me a lot of things. First of all, he said AAA was not gonna cover this. And that's another story. <laughs> and then he said that he couldn't, I had to drain the water tank, which was on the ground. He had to hoist it up so it could drain into the gray water tank again above and beyond because he was not hired to do that and then he strapped the tank back onto the frame so it was wasn't on the ground because he initially said he couldn't do it because it was on the ground if he had pulled the van forward onto his truck it would have just ripped the whole thing off just would have ripped the frame the water tank just straight up off the van which would have been a disaster so and I'm like, well, can't we just back it up? <laughs> no, no, the lip of the of the truck would of his truck would have just torn it off. So he did that for me, and then he was able to take care of it because he said he couldn't do it. He called for a bigger truck to come and help me, but because he was able to strap it up, he just figured that he could, you know, help me. So um, that guy was amazing, amazing because I don't think any other driver would have done that. They just would have said, no, AAA is not gonna cover it and um, it's on the ground. <laughs> we can't even put it on the truck. So anyway, he totally saved me. And I just thank God this, this did not happen on the freeway. Can you imagine on the freeway, my, my water tank falling and on the street, <laughs> on the freeway, that would have been a nightmare a nightmare and probably very dangerous probably would have caused an accident who knows but God spared me from all of that anyway getting back to AAA he said AAA would not have covered this because I don't live in the van because I'm working in it's a commercial vehicle I'm working in the van they wouldn't cover it I'm like uh, I told them that this is exactly what I'm doing anyway let me call them today because that's what I was told and that's what I told you guys yesterday <laughs> if you get a band conversion you know you're working out of it uh, that they would cover it the other thing is you know I think sometimes when you're in a crisis you don't think straight you don't think about all your options at least that's what happened to me yesterday I have insurance on the van and I have roadside assistance through my insurance but because I'm so used to using AAA, I I mean, that's just my go-to roadside assistance, you know, I didn't think. And they definitely would have covered it, no questions asked, because that is the type of insurance I have, specifically for a van that was converted and I'm working out of. So I just didn't think about that, and I will get some clarification from AAA today, and I'll get back to you guys about that, okay? But in the meantime, I am driving to the van way across town because I am gonna see a client today. I have a new client that I need to see today and her appointment just could not be pushed. She's leaving out of town for a whole month and she has no problem with me going to her home and doing her lash lift for her. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go grab my stuff, which for a second, I thought about grabbing my stuff yesterday, but I didn't because I thought I'm not gonna be doing any services. So I'm driving back there, I'm gonna grab my stuff, and I'll, I'll see her this afternoon, early in the afternoon, and do that. And hopefully I'll be able to take care of my van, pick it up, probably late afternoon, maybe early evening, hopefully. Cross my fingers and saying a prayer that I can do it. That way I can stay on track with the rest of my appointments for tomorrow and Friday and Saturday and maybe seeing one person late tonight in the van. So that's what I'm hoping for, but we'll see, we'll see. 
So I'm just gonna make this drive and then I will check back in with you guys a little bit later, okay? Okay, you guys, <laughs> it is nine o'clock. I had a very busy day. I know I said I would check in and I couldn't check in any earlier than right now. So I did do the client at one o'clock. I didn't get a chance to call AAA yet because I took a nap. <laughs> And then I was able to pick up my van, so um, I got Azalea back. Really excited about that. Um, I am gonna have to avoid driving into my client's driveway because it's the incline that hits the water tank and and um, has been bending the frame, so I have to kind of avoid that. It's, it's hard to avoid that going to a gas station. Um, but maybe I have to find some new gas stations to go to so I don't have that problem again. So anyway, I uh, picked up the van, did a client at six o'clock and I'm just now returning um, home. I did lash extensions on her, so it took a while, two hours, almost two hours. So I'm gonna call it a night. I don't want this video to be any longer than it should be. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for um, putting up with me and um, if you like this video, please leave a comment, please like the video, subscribe, and share my channel with your friends, okay? So I will see you in the next video. Good night.